Fun fact, I use like Google stopwatch as a timer when I record lately and uh, but right now when I went to type stopwatch instead I wrote shadow. <laughs> we know what's been preoccupying me in terms of video games these days. Hey there one, the Sao Cow grabbing the wrong controller, grabbing the right one right now, playing ASMT. Uh, last time I won more level into a level that I knew was gonna be problem. I have two lives left? Let's go fix that. 18 isn't a whole lot, but it's one shot of this loop, and honestly, like, that's fine. I just don't want to be, like, so near zero, but... Anyways, hey there everyone, this is Al Cow playing ASMT. I'm looking forward to me instantly regretting saying that, eh, one loop of life farm is enough. Giant Ice Cube, first level in this game by yours truly. Although not the first game I've made for this, yours truly. Uh, the game, this level, I don't think it's very good. <laughs> it's a bit spammy. It's a bit mashy, but you know what? It's fine. I had a lot of fun making this level. The level's called Giant Ice Cubes, because it's just floating ice cubes everywhere. And this jump is surprisingly tough. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad. Watch out. Football! That's the sound they make. It's what they call themselves. Yeah, so then those graphics are a bit blue in area. And. You know, that was on purpose, it's because, you know, like, it's so cold that you bump your head and you die. No, it's like frostbite is settling in. Second level in Ice World, you're gonna die of hypothermia demo, you better be careful. I say with, like, a smile in my voice, like, wow, way to be a monster there. Alright, let's see how this goes. There's two exits. Uh, one of them is basically just go inside an arbitrary pipe at some point. Very, very well thought out. Look, look, just because I play a lot of ROM hack and I have opinions on how, what, well, dang it, how ROM hack should be. Oh shoot. I just died. Oh crud. Uh, oh, uh, okay. So. I might have to remove some footage here due to sounds outside, but whatever, like, if well, I say whatever, I'll see. If there's a weird, like, block of video missing, assume that there was a lot of noise outside, and, uh, I thought it best to just kind of, maybe I might just remove the sound, I don't know. Well, a general sense of imprecision. Well, maybe the level is just like really tightly built, though, is a thing. Like, it is built with like hyper precision. Bill in mind, here's red. And I still, in case that gets removed, uh, I had made a joke about how it's red mage, but the cosplay for the occasion. But I don't know if they were really a part of the. Oh shoot, I'm dead. I don't know if they were part of community by then. Were you, red mage? Sure, I'm gonna jump there for no reason. What about it? Okay, like, I feel like... Like, of course the guy who hates the green sproingy thing is gonna involve a big sproingy thing jump to get the frost-laden key here. I mean, yeah, like, that's how it works normally. Am I gonna get telefragged by a wizard? I hope not, that's my dream. If you wanna get that dragon coin, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. Oh boy, this is very super uncomfortable though. Okay, you know, I, uh, I made a mistake evaluating that situation out there. You can't jump after a while of sitting on your gray. I kind of like this part. Like the smaller blue squares around the larger, like more turquoise ice, I guess. Ah, 
I'm, I'm an artist at heart. It's not a frequent color combination. But I think it works well, even though there's like no like real color theory between these two, other than being like different declinations of blue. Which means that normally you wouldn't think they'd go well together, honestly, because they're so similar. And yet here we are. This just goes to show that laws don't mean anything. So this one, you just let fall, then you end up here, and you're like, hey, black mage. And two, you're a giraffe. I don't know why. Alright, here, yeah. Spin around here, and then you're like, whoosh. Like, the wizard is a fascinating addition, because he doesn't do anything in this level. Oh. What a bad cactus. Who would want that cactus? Because of the height of this level, this swamp will never fall. I guess I'll get that in case I die, I can start working on a normal exit, and then come back. Uh, so like I said, it's just a random pipe. That random pipe is that one. Uh, the joke being that the pipe is just kind of free fall f floating. Like, it's just there in the middle of nowhere. And yet, when you enter it, you go into a realm of the Mario 3 Crystal Box music. You're on slip. See, here you can really tell things are slippery. Look at that, I just tapped the button a little bit, and then I was like five miles over, ordering a pizza off of a can of beans tied to a very taut string. Enhanced technology. Look at that, big jumps. Big, awkward moments of objects in the space. Always been a fan of Layer 2, always been a fan of Mega Spikes. This place is just a little bit of self-indulgence. That exists uh, for reasons of self-indulgence. I think this exit is significantly easier. And it leads to that level though, so that's the price you get to pay. Alright, I'll play the level again. Whoosh. We gotta read the story text again. I never even wrote that. That was part of the story game committee. That wrote that part of the text that you see a lot in beginning levels. But you know, they couldn't do that in the Cohen call because... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because, you know, you had to have the place for the help pop run. And also... The place where Turno introduces herself. Like, check it out. I'm pretty beefy. I can lift 300 canaries inside. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Maybe like 300 of... Uh, at a base level, 300 just sounds very impressive. What did I just do there? Just the best, sweetest move you've ever dreamed about. That's what. The dream maker. That's demo, alright. Ah, huh, there you go. Dusty wizard. All he knows is the dusty spells like Maelstrom and chewing your own feet. One of my favorite D&D classics. Alright, so here you gotta swing. You can see the wizard was there. But, like, I... Uh, yeah, the wizard was there. Glad to make your acquaintance. Like, this makes sense if it's a mushroom and nothing else. Because fire flowers stuck up there. So I did it. I didn't jump up in that fireball. I wanted to. I felt my thumb twitch, wanting me to accelerate upward. But there was no reason. For, I, I, I still think, I don't know. Like, I, I still dig what's going on, essentially, in the level. Like, just these weird, like, pathways of juicy fruit, collectible cups. But, man, end result is really tight here. So, yeah, we got. I don't know. Do we got ice physics going on? It's hard to tell. It's not standard ice pit. That statue's throwing fire at water. Then I hit that guy's head. I don't even know how. I just kind of hit his head. He just kind of did. Uh, oh. So the power up is behind. So you can go behind for power up. Is it worth it? That's a very valid question. Because a lot of the, you know, dangers from this level is the wizard floating around. Why did I do that? That's a very good question. Yet. And yet. 
Like, this is a genuinely super tight squeeze. Whatever, like... I'm starting to wonder if... Ah, dude! Did I survive getting hit there? Wow. Improvement is happening. Whoa. Alright, made it all the way here. Is there anything in any of these? I don't know if it'll be in that one. It's just not worth it to do more. Are the fireballs generated? Why? Now, cow, what are you doing? I'm just gonna casually add a generator here where truly one is needed. In addition to Wizard Man, Master of the Wizard Spell? Okay. Now how something that's clearly intended. This skilly guy just stuck on his woodland shelter. That's how they call him this. Fly him the boo! All on purpose. It's, ah, he didn't jump! I I was a strangely cruel man back in the day. Hey, good, good, good. That's the sound that I just made. Really? Why did I jump? Why did I press- uh, I'm gonna go back and life farm, I guess. Oh, it doesn't! Oh, okay, no, yeah. This makes this a clear... That can happen? Uh, I'm not- I'm still not grinding all the way up to 100. Like, that just doesn't feel necessary. I've gone as far as here before. Can I make it further? Ah. <laughs> really? That's not a bop? How is that not a bop? How is that not a bop? I was so focused on the wizard, I little eyeball man there did not notice. Like, I am literally surrounded. Like... Oh, this is too easy. People are not gonna find it interesting. Although there, I'm not sure how the interaction works. I don't like this part. now everyone lives here. That's fine. That's fine. And there we go. Little side room. Because you want to make sure that the bar appears. If there's too many sprites. That's why you got a little side room. And the eyes skid around a little bit. And there we go. And thus began that trend of me making ridiculous levels in compilations that I knew I was going to be playing. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I want to play any of the two next levels, so uh, <laughs> I guess I'll choose tomorrow.